Have you seen that there are a few words which are pronounced the same but they are different in meaning or with respect to the spelling or derivation or origin? For example, accept and accept or access or excess. What are these sets called? Well, they are known as homophones. Hello all. Today, we are going to take up a few sets of the most confusing words or more appropriately homophones and find out what is the difference between those words and when do we use which word. So the first set is affect versus effect. Affect is a verb. A. It means to have an impact on something or to influence something. For example, his stress can affect his performance. An effect with E is the noun. It means the result of being affected. For example, the medicine did not have any effect on the patient. Right? So the spelling with A means to impact someone or something and E is the result. Okay, now let us look at the picture. The next set is accept versus accept. A double C E P T versus E X C E P T. Accept is to agree or to receive something that is being offered. For example, Harish accepted my offer. And accept is to omit or to exclude something. Accept means to receive something and accept is to omit or exclude something. Now the easiest trick to remember is look at the spelling of accept. It means to exclude or omit. And the spelling of exclude also has ex and the spelling of accept also has ex. So whenever you think about excluding something, it will be accept, not accept. Right? An example can be except Rita all were present. Except you, nobody supported me. Okay? The third set is access versus excess. Access means to connect, approach or reach out to something or someone. For example, she did not have an easy access to the CEO of the company. An excess means something which is in surplus or more than necessary or more than needed. For example, excess of anything is not good. So access means to connect, approach or reach out. An excess means excess or more than necessary or in surplus. The next is advice and advice. Now, students or learners make the most mistake in this set. Why? A D V I C E versus A D V I S E. The spelling is almost same, only there is S and C. Now, A D V I S E is a verb. It means to recommend or to give an information. For example, the teacher advised him to study hard. It is a verb. Okay, whenever you are recommending or giving information or suggesting, the spelling will be S E. A D V I S E. And advice, A-D-V-I-C-E, is the noun, meaning the opinion or recommendation or suggestion. For example, I never ask for his advice. My mom's advice was to always follow my passion. Okay, A-D-V-I-S-E is the act of giving information or recommending. And advice, C-E, is the noun. Okay, the next set is adopt versus adapt. A D O P T and A D A P T. A D O P T is to take something as one's own. Okay, to uh, take something as one's own. Adopt. For example, Mira adopted a baby girl. And adapt means to make suitable changes or to adjust. A D A P T is to adjust. How will you remember? Look at the spelling of adapt. A D A P T. Okay, A. So, A stands for adjust. So, whenever you see this word A D A P T E, A P T, it will be adjust. For example, J adapted to the new environment. Remember something you always adapt to new environment or new things while you adopt something. Okay. The last set is addition versus addition. Addition relates to adding. Okay, meaning you have some addition to the existing amount or to existing set, you add something to it. 
For example, the restaurant has added some new dishes in the menu. An addition means something that is edited or published. For example, I have purchased the latest edition of the book. So, addition means to add something. An addition means something that is edited or published. So, I hope you have understood some of the homophones that are mostly confused by the learners. And if you have liked and enjoyed today's lesson, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more such content. Till then, happy learning. Thank you.